Hello, hey everybody, it's little David hanging out with Steve Irwin. That's right. I know it. Who, do you mean my knee on Tetris? We sure do, Steve Irwin. Beside my father, Steve Irwin's my number one hero in life. My sister, before going to prison, bought me him back in 2006 because I was so devastated and depressed. Uh, very, very good man. Taught so many people so many things. Um, right now what I'm working on is there's a pregnant female guppy in here that's being harassed by the males and I'm going to get her out, out of this situation. See that? So, what I've come up with in the past couple years is that I got these jars. And I grab them down. What I did is, you know those little green scrubby pads? I bent one in half, carefully got it to stay in there. And what I do is... Put the jar down like that. Open the lid. Grab my fish bucket. My siphoning hose. I got a scrubby pad. It's the other half of the one in the jar there. But I'm going to show you what that's used for. Alright, so we got to get a little bit of water in this jar. Do that real quick. Ooh, it's shooting in there. Might have sucked up a fish. We'll see. Alright, so we got ourselves a jar, and I guess I didn't suck up a fish, so that's good. I'll just set that right here. Now, time to catch that fish. So I grabbed a fish net here. She's right there, nice and calm like, don't want, it. there's two, I'll grab both of them, they're probably equally being harassed, got my fish, and now, excuse me, I gotta get these fish into this jar, I'm gonna set the phone down in a moment, I don't know if you could hear me or not, but I gotta be careful up this part, you should be too if you decide to do this. And two. Boom. All right. So now we got two pregnant females that were being harassed, causing birth issues, stress. Stress is a killer for fish, literally. Mankind, too. We can stress, stress ourselves to death. So now we got. A jar. We got some fish in there. And what the idea is after the babies, they'll have more access because the I do feed them, but the mothers still sometimes will try to eat their own babies. Yeah, I know. So hang the jar up here. And that's my little idea, or my my little breeding guppy idea. Anyways, Jeremy Wade's my second choice as far as uh, 
heroes go. He writes some very good books. I'd even read them to children at night. His bedtime stories. Beautiful writer. Awesome guy. <clears throat> now, what I did here, I didn't even explain it. I was talking about other stuff, sorry. It's just a milk crate over a five gallon bucket. There's a reason I'm doing this. The reason is Raphael striped catfish. Let me shut off this crazy light here. I don't think it helps. Hold on. Yeah. Does that help? Him. They like to hide in a hole. This jar isn't big enough. There's an ornament back there. That is. So, you gotta take it out. Look what I did with some duckweed. I don't know what else you would call it. It's like, uh, you see it in ponds a lot. But it's called duckweed. It, it thrives off ammonia, which fish expel. That's like fish pee. They live off of it. They clear the water out. I don't know if you've seen my earlier videos. A few days back, this looked like a mud puddle. This, what I got going on here, certainly cleaned it up. All right. Move my nighttime light. My fish have a night light. I'm not weird. All right. Don't close on me, lid. All right. So that Raphael can find a nice hiding spot and watching him for days. I'm going to grab this thing. This is my predatory tank. I have some monsters in here. If you've seen the aliens versus predator versus little David, I do have monsters in here. There's the tail of the beast. One of them. I have two of them. Don't want to get bit. I hope this goes all right. Here we go. Oh, there's the head of the other one. Now, I mean, this is recording. If you see me get bit, well, uh, I'll just keep recording it and see how that goes. Uh, don't, don't ask for me to get bit, please. Oh God. All right. Pulling out this old rusty, nasty looking log. Blah. All right. Throw it on the thing. And now the lid closed. That always happens. I don't care. Alright. So. This is a cool log. Has some algae on it. If I had a toothbrush with me, I could definitely do a better job on it. But I don't really care. I mean, I like algae. Fish like algae. But. If you had a sink, which in my tiny house, I don't. You would be struggling with this in a porcelain sink, you know, and scrubbing it and have fresh running water, all that. I don't have a sink. I have a five-gallon bucket and a milk crate. You see. So all the water is going into there while I'm cleaning this off. Just a little trick. Comes in handy. You could go outside and do it with a hose. You could do it in your tiny house. Oh my gosh, what the heck. Another present from my sister. <laughs> it scared me for a minute there. But yeah, I'll clean this up. Raphael will have a home. I'm gonna, uh, when I set it in the tank, say that this is the bottom of the tank. Boom. It's flat. He's only going to have maybe two inches room. He's not two inches anymore. He's bigger fish. So what I'm going to do is say that I'm going to have the log here. I'm going to scoop out the, the gravel and the, the um, bottom. And then put it there. And then look how much room you have. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys have some little tadpoles here. It's that time of year. Got some aquatic plants doing some weird stuff. That's just a. That's just me. 
don't know. But happy that my male guppies survived. And that my tetras, they haven't really scold up together unless there's stress. Let's see. Let me do that. That will stress them out. Maybe they'll school together. There we go. Now they're kind of like forming a unit. What the heck was that noise? We better get together. Just like humans. Fish aren't much different. I got a lot of duckweed in here. They eat it. It's safe for them to eat. Every once in a while a fish will get caught up in there though. Uh, in that much of it and you'll lose them but it, the plant eats the fish so and there is that possibility but thanks for watching my video I hope some of this was helpful I'm gonna start working on this log for Raphael love you guys and uh, try to enjoy this weather